A report from Orsanco, the Ohio River Valley Water Sanitation Commission, shows PFAS have been found along the entirety of the Ohio River. While the chemicals are banned in U.S. manufacturing, products made with them can still be imported. The more we produce, the more we put into those ecosystems, the more they sort of accumulate um, and have the potential to have detrimental impacts on every sort of trophic level. The forever chemicals have been found in other aquifers around the country, so they're suspected of being in the Great Miami Buried Valley Aquifer. It's a source of drinking water for more than 2 million people in western Ohio. Scientists want to understand what happens to toxins like PFAS that leach into groundwater. We're kind of just trying to explore and understand what's going on, right, and how big a problem is. And I think every researcher's hope is that that then will lead us to how do we help fix these problems, right? How do we help mitigate some of these issues? One way they'll do that is by looking at how microbes interact with the chemicals. Microbes can bond with other harmful chemicals and make them inert, but right now it's not known if they bind to the forever chemicals. How well they bind, right, to different materials that might be present in groundwater and how that's mediated by what microbes are doing are something that I think can give us a really important sense of how dangerous things like PFOSs are in groundwater ecosystems. For Local 12 News, I'm Christian Hauser. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tab subscribe and click the links for more content like this.